<laughs> okay. Yes. So, um, Montpreneur, let me know when I can start. Yeah, you have the floor, Taiwo. You have the floor okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello, guys. It's so good to be here. Um, I can see some faces that I know from the last um, session we had, and I'm glad to be here again. Um, so, like I already said, my sister already, well, sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> expose you. She's my sister. Mom, is my sister. <laughs> okay, so my name is Taiwo, Taiwo Gundeko. Um, I work in investment banking, but I love fashion. I've always loved fashion we from know. when I was young. And, you know, over the years, we've evolved, we've evolved. We've um, learned to know more about ourselves, what suits us and what doesn't suit us. And as we grow older, we realize that we, you know, you actually address the way you dress. It, that's the reality. As, you know, as much as we like to be cheesy about it and we like to act like it's not a big deal. It is actually a big deal. <laughs> and, you know, now that we're in this challenge, um, this is a new year. It's something that we should all be intentional about. We shouldn't be thinking like, oh, okay. <sighs> I'm just all about being comfortable. Oh, I don't like stress. Please, my dear sisters. No, please, we need to be intentional. So I'll just dive right in. Okay, so um, I didn't want to share a slide because I wanted this to be quite interactive. I don't want to be boring like I'm doing some investment banking stuff or asset management stuff. So I wanted this to be very engaging so you can ask me questions, stop me, and also you know, share your own ideas. You know, fashion is all encompassing. Fashion is a deep ocean. You can't really get enough of fashion. Fashion is eclectic, is a, a combination of different ideas, right? So um, you can stop me and ask questions and make contributions as well. So I'm um, sorry, I'm just looking for my notes. Okay, so I'll start with a question. What is your style? Yes, what is your style? I'm sure you guys are wondering style. Do I really have a style? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I just work with um, whatever suits me. No, you actually have a style. I'm sure all of us in this in this house here right now, um, we are all adults. I, I'm sure the youngest of us will be can be less than 25. So if you if you look at your phone right now, I'm going to give you guys that assignment. Take your phones, look at your phone right now, and look at all the pictures you've taken over the years. I'm telling you, realize that you actually do have a style knowingly or knowingly in your subconscious. There's something that you always wear. When you're going for your events, there's an outfit that you always sew with your tailor. When you're going to work, there's something that you do most often. Okay. Oh, let me mute. Okay. <laughs> mute. So, you I'm know, there's something her. you've always done over the years, maybe in your 20s, moved over with you to your 30s. If you're in your 40s, move over with you to your 40s and moved over with you to your 50s and if you're in 60s and, and, you know, and the likes. So that you, in your subconscious, you actually do have a style. Now, if you look through your pictures, I'm sure you'll see something that's very consistent, number one. If you look through your wardrobe, I'm sure you know that there's something also, you know, there's something you always have. There's something you always have every season, every year, every trending season, mm. there's something you must always have. It might be pencil jeans. Maybe you always just make sure you have pencil jeans, even when the boot cuts, the bell bottoms are out. Or even when the bell bottoms are out, you always see yourself always having bell bottoms. <laughs> so look through your phone. Now you'll be shocked to know that you actually do have a style. Can you shock you, Abby? Yes, it should shock you. <laughs> you have a style. So now the question here again is moving on, what has influenced your style? What has actually influenced your style? Now, over the years, media, media has actually had, you know, a very big, you know, impact on how we dress, how we see ourselves, how we've created our styles. Where you work has actually also had a big impact on how you dress. Maybe as a boss, you've always subconsciously admired and, you know, you just thought, oh my, I like the way she looks. And then you just found out that somehow you picked it. It might have been your mom aunties or it might have been you know one tv show maybe secret of the stands or something <laughs> and then you're just like you somehow in your subconscious picked up the style and built that style over the years now that is quite interesting because yes, it's a beautiful thing to have a style 
a beautiful thing to have a style. I, I, I'm the kind of person that believes that, you know, everybody has their own uniqueness to them when it comes to fashion, number one. Um, you shouldn't berate or undermine anybody's effort for fashion, number two. But it's also very important to find out, does this style suit me? Now, that's the number two shocker. Now, you might have realized that you've had a style when you look through your pictures. Now, maybe you look into your pictures, you're like, oh, okay, I'm always wearing um, shift dresses. I'm always wearing peplum tops. I'm always wearing pencil jeans. Or I'm always on leggings and free tops. Or I'm always on denim on denim. Or I'm always, maybe you just realize, I'm always on, you know, wearing, you know, tight, very fitted gowns. I love the silhouette kind of gowns. You know, I love to show my body, you know, to show my, my God-given figure. Yes, beautiful. Maybe you've realized that's your style. But now the next shocker is, does that style really suit you? Is that style for you? And now how do we know that, right? So that takes us to the next step. And that's where I'm going to come in. Your style might be great, right? But it's just, an, it's really not just for you, sadly. So that style might be great. You might have built up that style over the years because of what has influenced your subconscious, right? But maybe that style is not just for you. Now, if you have gotten that style right over the years, it might have just been fluke right because i believe the mirror tells you what you want to see and that's why we see a lot of people looking very interesting and they boldly step out guess what they looked at the mirror before they came into that event but the mirror told them what they wanted to see <laughs> so now the thing here is you need to know your body type how many of us here know our body types can we just signify by using the emoji, raising up your hands. Ah, I can see my sister there. Yes, she knows <laughs> our body type. Go sis. Any other hands in the air? How many of us know our body types? Do you know your body type? I've never even I can seen. see, um, I don't know. Slim, can you help us? Um, can you see, can we see how many hands are up? Okay. Okay, I can see another hand up. Um, yeah, how many people in this? Um, so we have about 17. Oh, I can see, oh yes. I can okay, see another boomy. thumbs up. Oh, Boomy, I can see a boom boom. Day. Beautiful. <laughs> this, is, this is so interesting. I'm too impressed to, to hear this because a lot of women do not know their body types. And, you know, it's so interesting because if you don't know your body type, then you've been getting fashion wrong all this while. Except maybe some days by fluke, you were just right. So now the next thing is, you know, how do you know your body type? So I took some notes down. I'm gonna give us some ideas of the kind of body types we have. So you give yourself a fair idea. You can't even give yourself a fair idea. It's not a, it's not a guess game. <laughs> you need to do the work, right? I'm gonna tell us how to do it. And then that's, an, that's our assignment. We're gonna go after this um, session and find out, determine what our body types are. So we have about four basic types of, about four or five basic types of body shapes you know, in all women, right? Now, the first shape we have, body type we have is called the rectangle shape. It's exactly like the rectangle. Now, if you see the rectangle is, you know, the top end is short, the middle end is long, right? The same length, and the down end too is also short. It's, it's slightly different from the square, but that tells you something. Now, for this person that has that body type, right? The exposed her lower hips. So it's just like a rectangle, really. Now, if someone that has that body type, you know, that person doesn't really have, she's not, you, you won't necessarily call her a curvy kind of person, right? Now, imagine that kind of person wearing a body con dress. Mm. <laughs> now, imagine someone like that wearing a body con dress. Or imagine someone like that not knowing her style, not knowing her body shape, right? And has stuck to a particular style over the years, right? And maybe now has hammer, has money, is a celebrity, and has gone all out to get one high end image consultant, right? That deals with the ladies that have probably done their bodies have the hourglass bodies and it's only used to those kind of ladies, right? 
And now that lady brings you a silhouette gown to fit into that body. Tell me. <laughs> That's obviously a mismatch. That's why it's so important that we know our body types because when you know your body type, then you are also responsible for how you look. You know, fashion is something, I'm very passionate about fashion and I believe it's something that we should all take full responsibility for. You know, it's not something you should throw totally to the hands of um, um, the professionals the or the so-called quote and unquote stylist. Stylists do make mistakes. <laughs> so you also need to be intentional. And one of the major steps in being intentional is knowing your body type, right? Now, that's the rectangle shape. Now we have the triangle shape. Triangle shape or the pear shape. Now that pear shape is exactly like a pear. So if you picture the English pear, right? Um, or the avocado pear, that's how the lady's body actually looks like. So if you have a picture image now, that's a lady that has fuller hips, right? She has fuller hips. Um, her waist is well-defined, but she has a very narrow up. So uh, the upper bit of her body is narrow, right? So if you know your body shape fits into this particular category, there's some things you should be wearing and there's some things you shouldn't be wearing. Now, what we see most of the time is this. We see ladies within that category either trying so hard to cover up, you know, the excesses, right? Or trying so hard to reveal the excesses. You know, my school of thought is less is more, right? So when you see a lady like that wearing baggy t-shirts, you know, or wearing very tightly fitted um, clothes or like wearing a pair of leggings with a crop top, she might look a little bit out of place, right? She's wearing very huge, you know, um, baggy clothes. She's gonna make her upper torso actually look narrower. And we don't want that because now it's even going to look narrower than her lower torso and she probably will end up looking like an alien. So she needs you, we need to understand our body types and then find out what suits our body types, right? So the next shape we have is the hourglass. Now that's what we see almost everywhere. I tell people that in Lagos is like a product because now people can buy the bodies. So you see what people, the mistake people are making is they're trying to fit their bodies into a trending style, not defining their own style, right? And that's, that's actually wrong because I'll go back. Back in the nineties, the Air Force, if you look at, um, um, uh, what's the Baywatch, Pamela Anderson, the emphasis were on her boobs. And if you remember that video, when she was running at the beach, all the emphasis was well, well, actually on her boobs. And then what everybody was doing then was trying to get implants, you know, because all the clothes that were being made at that point in time, we are being made to actually, you know, accentuate your, your bosom, you know, was all centered around the boobs. So people that have gone all out to make their bodies suit that style at that point in time might be having a problem now, right? If we go back to the vintage season, the 1800s, 1906, you know, it was actually around the waist. And waist trainers are not new. You always had people wearing corsets. Now, it was corsets. It was more about how tiny your waist was. And if you watch all those movies from way back in the days, we see a lady here, maybe they're chaperones. Someone is pulling a string on this side. The other person is pulling a string on this side, trying to ensure that the lady's waist is completely snatched. So it was more, and most of the gowns then were ball gowns. It was more about the waist. It wasn't really particular. The people were not really particular about your breast size or your hip size or your bum size, right? Then we moved to the 2000s with the era of the Cardassians. And they saw the fuller bodies, the hourglass fuller bodies to us and the media pumped it up in our face, faces. Now, fashion trends moved in line with that, right? And then we see people having that body shape and assuming that is the ideal body shape, right? All body shapes are ideal. What matters most is you defining your style. So the hourglass, like I said, typical example would be the, the Cardassian, King Cardassian, um, exactly like an hourglass. So, um, like number eight, 
right? Like we always say, figure eight, eh, eh. that's what the trend, figure eight, sekpe, sekpe, figure eight, eh, eh. <laughs> so just like the figure eight, right? And you see those kind of um, body types, they can get away with so many things, like someone that has that hourglass body type should be, can wear a gown and put a tiny belt on her waist because her waist is well defined. It will still look pretty nice. Someone like that can also wear a shift gown and it will still look really nice, right? But what matters most is that you define your, you know your body shape and define your style. So um, the next shape we have after the um, hourglass is the apple or the inverted triangular shape. So exactly like an inverted triangular shape, you know how the triangle, so your the shoulders are broad and then it just goes down. Now, I'll give for me a typical example of that is our dear actress um, Shola Shobuali, right? Um, she's brought up, but she's narrowed down. But if we notice, she understands her style, and she has worked it over the years. She's getting better over the years to understand what works for her body type, right? So that's why I'm saying that all body types are perfect. What matters is you understanding. What style fits your body type? So you have someone that has the inverted, the broad shoulders, right? Not very defined waist, very, very narrow hips. Now, I don't want to see someone like that saying, ah, hey, did you see what Nancy Seme wore for that AVMCA award? It was mad. It was, it was on point. And I said, go and meet your tailor. You see this style? This style that is here, it's here. It's fitted here. Hey. This exactly this one, do it for me. Sister, you're off track. <laughs> so you shouldn't just be looking at that and plucking it off the rack. The first question is, does it suit me? Does it suit my body type? And that's why most times I love watching these um, videos or these pictures of who wore it better, number one. And also the videos of what I asked for versus what I got. And most of the times when I look at just what I asked for versus what I got, most times it's not about the tailor, about the designer. It's actually about the person's body type vis-a-vis -vis what they asked for, right? So um, the inverted body shape, um, triangular body shape is one. And then the last but not the least is what we'll call the round or oval shape. Now the round or oval shape um, body type is kind of, is a body type that we have, um, the person adds most of their weight around their midsection. Very busty. Most of your weight goes around your stomach area. You are fuller around your mid midsection. So really, that person too doesn't really have a defined waist, right? So um, the person is, um, yeah. So a person has a fuller tummy. Um, you know, the hips could have been more very obvious if they had a smaller waist, but because you know, everything from the boss to the, it's all just like a circle in the middle. So that is where the concentration of their fat actually um, centers around. Now, I must also mention that body types can change over the years. So you may have started out with a particular body type, maybe when you were 16, and then when you were 18, when you were 20, when you were 20s, your body type changed. When you start having children, your body type probably changed. But the basics will still be there. And that's why we see some people via exercise. They worked on their midsections and they've started to have a more defined waist, you know? So body types can actually, you know, can change over the years as we age, it actually changes. So that's that on body types, right? Um, I'm gonna send a link um, to um, Mufolu Shade so we can, um, after this, so we can, it will just teach us how to calculate our body types. Now to calculate body types is actually connected to three major parts of our body your back and your bust, your waist, and then your hips, right? So you want to know those measurements, your bust area, your back area, your waist, and then your hips, right? And then when you know those, um, when you get those measurements, most times I preferably do it when you're naked in the bathroom, or if you're not naked, preferably do it when you're wearing um, very, very thin, uh, maybe your, your underwear, right? So you can get the exact measurement. And then when you do that, shout out to my sister. I don't know if she's here, um, sister, sister Ken Ken. She sent me a link, which I also sent to the group. 
um, we can also use that as some form of calculation. There's something called the body shape calculator. You punch in these things here, and then it tells you what body shape you are. So that's that on body shape. Now we'll move on, right? So like I said, first of all, what is your style? Yes, you have a style. Find out what that style is. Look at your pictures, um, look at your archives, look at your wardrobe, and then you realize you've actually always had a style. Secondly, find out if your style really fits your body's body type, right? Now, when you find out if your style really fits your body type, you realize, you find out, I, am I gonna tweak my style or am I gonna change my style completely, right? And I've told us here how to know our body type, right? So, um, fashion, be intentional, ladies. Let's not be lazy. Fashion, be intentional. <laughs> be intentional. Fashion is something that, even if you're not passionate about, is something that you need to be intentional about because you're really addressed the way you dress, you know? Do your research. I know you're saying research, please, not that deep. <laughs> it's that deep. <laughs> Do your research. Now, technology has made life so easy for us. So easy, right? There's Pinterest. Every lady here should have Pinterest on their phone. You know, when you go on Pinterest, you can just search um, styles for my body shape, right? And then come up with ideas. You, you get what I'm trying to say? So we need to be intentional. <laughs> About, about fashion. Fashion is a statement. It's lifestyle. Pay it some homage. Give it its due respect, right? So we need to be intentional. Do your research. Go on YouTube. Go on Instagram. Don't just do copy and paste. I know we Nigerians, we love copy and paste. We'll be doing it right from our secondary school days. No, fashion is not copy and paste. Fashion is unique to you, right? So you need to be intentional. Go on Pinterest. Go on YouTube. Um, don't just copy styles. Don't just go to your tailor and say, um, pick me anything that suits me. Your tailor might not even be a professional. Your tailor will just pick what suited the last lady, right? So you need to have a fair idea of your body type, a fair idea of what suits your body type before you go out there picking styles, right? For example, me, for example, I fall under the category of like almost the inverted shape. And because I fall within that category, right? There's some things I will normally not wear. You won't see me wearing any hourglass kind of um, gown. I will hardly wear that because I know it doesn't flatter me. Now I know that I love to show my shoulders because now that is where I have, because I'm inverted, right? That's where my, I believe that's where my strength is. And I love to show my legs. So whatever I wear will accentuate my own strength, which is unique to me. Now, it took me a long time to learn this, you know, and obviously making so many mistakes, you know, before I realized that, look, Taiwo, your style is unique to you. And you see people sometimes, you see most people say, oh, um, when I'm going for this party, that style, sometimes I actually just go with the vintage, old school, Cuban Euro style, because my waist is high up. So when I tie my wrapper, up on my waist, it gives me the illusion of an hourglass. Nobody's focusing on how narrow my hips are anymore. And because the Bubu Niro is off shoulder, it's showing off my shoulders, right? But it took me a while to learn that. Now, if on the other hand, I decide to go and sew a gown, maybe a straight cut gown, I'm obviously now emphasizing the fact that I have very narrow hips. So like I said, it's something that, you know, you need to work on, something you need to do your research. Do not be lazy, my sisters. This year, we all need to be looking hot, 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 hot. Never, never to be caught on fresh, never to be caught on fresh. We need to be looking hot, back to back, back to back, right? So like I said, be intentional about fashion. And why I'm saying this, why I'm saying that you should also be intentional about your fashion, you should know your body type, is like what I said before, I'll give two examples, like the example I gave before now. I said Shola Shobo Ali has defined her style over the years, right? I also mentioned, now I'll also be mentioning Simi the singer. Now, if you see Simi the singer, most people say, oh, she needs to get an image consultant. Her dressing is dark, is black. Guess what? She might as well have an image consultant that is just suiting her to match what other people were doing. 
and it's not working with her body type. And that's on her because if she didn't do her homework, if she doesn't know her body type, if she hasn't been intentional, then any so-called quote and unquote top name, big name, top shot image consultant will come and dump shit on her and she will have to take it and pay so much money for it. So the onus lies on us, you know, to do the work, right? And um, like I said, you know, when you understand your body type, you find out that you're not just moving with trends. Now there's a trend, there are always fashion trends, always fashion trends, right? And when someone doesn't really understand their body type, that's why you see them just jumping on every trend, jumping on every trend. Not every trend is for you. No, no matter how hot it is, no matter how sexy it is, not every trend is for you. And then I'm almost, I must also, also mention here that, you know, when you're trying to define your style, you know, you also like, that's what I'm saying, it's so important that you work with being intentional and doing your research. I always tell people that there's a very thin line between looking classy, looking sexy, and looking trashy, right? And most times when you see people end, when people end up looking trashy, it's because they have gone to do copy and paste. Oh, this lady looked hot. All her breasts was outside. Meanwhile, she has smaller bosoms than you do. And that's why we see on Ashwari Bella today, you see a lot of styles and their boobs are being suffocated and the boobs actually are shouting out for help. They are saying, please, please, please help me. But the boobs are everywhere. Do you get, and that's why I said this thing, the mirror tells you what you want to see. You think those ladies didn't see themselves in the mirror before stepping out. Now, this is, that's a very thin line. And then the whole boobs are outside. I say, ah, please, there's Shaba slit. There's Shaba slit. Help to bring that Shaba slit too. They will drag the slit all the way to the front, all the way to their, to their, to, to, to their hip bone. You know, that's too much, you know? And that's because most people are just doing copy and paste. You're not doing what actually suits you, right? Then I know this might not go down well with a lot of us, but please ladies, opt for a little form of discomfort. Yes, beauty hurts. <laughs> yes, beauty actually hurts, right? I'm not saying you should, be, you should be uncomfortable every day, no. But there's some certain events that you're looking out to making a statement, right? And you should opt for some form of discomfort. If you have to wear those heels, please wear the heels. If you've always been wearing sneakers and trainers, yes, you're going for a casual business, casual event. Um, you wear your jeans, you wear your nice trainers and you wear your blazer and you look very on point, right? Are you giving that comfy business, casual, cool girl look, right? And then you're supposed to go for a dinner, right? I don't expect you to wear ballet shoes, no. Even if you can't wear those heels, there are lovely lady shoes that we have that are flat, but they still have this feminine touch to it. The, the mouths might be a bit pointed. The heels might just be kitten heels because it gives you a statement. It adds some class. And now we even have the block heels coming out. So we even have block heels. For ladies that say, no, the, it's too stressful. It's too this one. You have the block heels coming out. So invest in very nice shoes, nice accessories. If you need to be uncomfortable, please be uncomfortable for a few hours, right? Invest in very nice underwear. At this age, our boobs are no more perky. We're not 16. We don't have uh, pointed braids. I say, you go to, you go to, ah, uh, they say we're going for Ashake. Ah, okay. we are going for Ashake. All the 16 years old, the 21 years old, 25 years old, they are wearing crop tops with no bra. You should not say, ah, one, you should me, me go more small and bear. Ha, I'm hot. You two, you go there, you wear your crop top. My sister, I'm sorry. Those girls, those 16 year old, 18, they will still say good afternoon, ma, to you. If you lie, <laughs> deceive yourself. They will still say, ah, I good afternoon because you are. <laughs> You know, so, you know, they will still, it will, they will still know. So please invest in very good on the words. You can still go for such events and look classy and be admired as a, a mature person. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, oh, because as rich we're auntie. older. Rich auntie. <laughs> Thank you. Let be a peace setter. Let them say, that's how I want to be when I grow up. That's how I want to be when I grow up. You're not trying to be like them. You've moved up, moved on from that. So you are defining a style for the classy, mature woman. 
Yes, you can go to an Ashaka concert wearing very nice shorts, but not the shorts that's going to show your bum. This can be three quarter shorts, right? You can go to that Ashaka concert wearing some nice, you know, um, um, fitted or body hog t shirt with a cross bag, and then wear your chocks, wear your trainers. But then again, like I said, do your research and find out if that goes with your, you know, body type. You can do a pair of pencil jeans with a free top, with a loose top. You can do a shift dress, right? And like I always say, I tell people, fashion is all encompassing. So, like I mentioned now, invest in good underwear, invest in spanks. Yes, invest in spanks. I know spanks can be a bit uncomfortable, but guess what? They're not, they're not out, they're not um, underwear you wear every day. They're underwear you wear when you're going for a particular event. You're trying to give yourself the illusion of maybe um, an hourglass or the illusion of, you know, um, a firmer body. I'm not saying we shouldn't, we shouldn't love who we are ourselves, but yes, we need to put in some effort. When you wear spanks, spanks under some certain outfits, it actually does bring out the beauty. Now, don't get me wrong. I must say, it, go out there and go and buy all those waist trainers that will choke you. And when you sit down, you're like this. Yeah, yeah, like this. You cannot even eat in the party because you are, you are regurgitating. I mean, what's that English word? You know, because everything you eat just keeps coming back. <laughs> you know, so that's why you need to know what spanks will suit you. You, even, you know your size, first of all, the first, trick to these things that uh, you know your body shape once you know your body shape you know the kind of spanks the kind of the size of spanks you should be wearing right when you're going to get your spanks make sure you go with your measurements don't just buy the spanks of oh i saw this thing on instagram or ah this body shape is nice don't just buy it off the don't just buy it off the internet sister no buy it with your measurements at the back of your mind because this is something that you want to wear on special occasions you want to give it the smooth feel when you wear that lovely dinner gown, right? You want to give it the smooth feel when you wear your jeans, your denim, and you want to tuck in your shirt, right? So invest in very good underwear, spanks, if you need to be uncomfortable for some minutes, for some hours, please be uncomfortable. Like I said, beauty actually hurts, right? Hmm. Don't mix making a statement with looking good, though, my sister. Don't mix making a statement with looking good. Like I said, less is more. Now, this one here, bish, bish, bash, everything. You just see everything is just going on all over that outfit. It's just so busy. And you're like, what, what, are we supposed to be, what, what are we supposed to be looking at here? Are we supposed to be looking at, at the, the big rose that is here or the big rose at her back or at her legs or at, what? You just, you're just confused. Right? So don't mix making a statement with looking good because people will tell you, oh, oh, doesn't mean that, ah, you look good. Though. Oh, it means that interesting. Wow, interesting. <laughs> so let's not mix making a statement um, with looking good. Like I said earlier, lay emphasis on your killer points. And the only way you can lay emphasis, like I said, is first knowing your body type. Um, if you're someone that has beautiful legs, lovely legs, Please, I'm not saying wear the hot, the, the short, short miniskirt, but show off your legs. Don't always cover those beautiful legs. If you're someone that has lovely hands, like lovely arms, you can get away with wearing sleeveless. Please wear stuff that, you know, shows off your strength. Like I said, I love to show my shoulders. If you know that it's my shoulder, then go ahead, please. You might as well show it. If you have lovely waist, you have a very well-defined waist, right? Invest in gowns that, maybe wrap gowns that will show off will show off your waist, right? If you have beautiful bosoms, yeah, my one of my bosselicious sisters, please also, you know, in, in a classy way, show off your bosom. I'm not saying it should be pouring out, but when you're doing, when you're sewing outfits, when you're making outfits, when you're buying outfits, you can make outfits that actually show your strength, that show that, oh, she has beautiful bosoms, you know, you know, naturally right so please let's show off our strength that we, we are actually in our 40s in the 50s in our 60s doesn't necessarily mean that you should just look very drab very covered um or very um miserable no <laughs> then invest in colors invest in accessories plug colors into your wardrobe colors are happy 
And guess what? In Nigeria, we're so blessed. We have summer all the time. All the time. We are summer, January to December. So invest in colors. But like I said, again, do your research. Find out what color tone goes with your skin tone. So you're not just buying, um, you're not just wearing um, all the colors because you say, oh, they say we should invest in colors. No, find out, do your research. Don't be lazy. What color goes with your color tone? Invest in colors, invest in accessories. If you wear glasses, invest in your frames. You know, those are statement pieces. If you wear, um, if, you, if you're an accessories kind of person, invest in nice, beautiful accessories, right? Invest in nice accessories. Um, if you're someone that, you know, you love makeup, invest in quality, good makeup. Invest in your skin. At this age, invest in your skin because once your skin is glowing, guess what? You can't really get anything wrong. Invest in your skin, invest in nice accessories, invest in nice underwear, invest in colors, you know, do your research. Know what color suits you, right? Like I said, fashion is not copy and paste. Hmm. If you tried it in your head, okay, madam, try it in real life before you on the video. If you try to say, ah, you close, I say, ah, can you my law? Ah, gang, yeah, tea, but I ah, Timati, go by. Ah, if I wait for my non Yoruba speaking sisters, if I wear that thing in my head, that is bad. Ah, it will be mad. Try it first. Try it in front of the mirror <laughs> and call people to help you check before the D day. And that's why, for me, I always like to play safe when I'm going for events with Yashoebi. So if it's a style that I've never worn before, a style that I've done my research, I know it doesn't really necessarily go with my body type and the wedding is next week. Guess what? I won't be showing anything new. I will stick to a style that I've always known that I know that this works for me because I don't want to get my, my outfit a day to the event and be looking like a Shambhala. No, 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 we don't want that. So please, let's try it in our head. When we try it in our head, let's try it physically first. Make sure you take pictures, to the mirror self, I love the mirror selfie. Oh my goodness, I do the mirror selfie a lot. In fact, on my phone, if I could share some pictures with you guys, I will show you a whole lot of my mirror selfies, the bad and the ugly, because I do, I, I try to, I try it on. You know how husbands can be now? They say, please, I, it's okay, it's okay. When you now go to the event, they will now deny you. <laughs> so, so, so the honor, so the honor lies on you. So I do a lot of mirror selfies. I will try out the outfit. I'll put it in front of the mirror. I'll take my picture. I'll look at it. I'll send it to a few friends or my siblings. I say, what do you guys think? Do you think it's okay? How, do you, how can, how best can I tweak this? Because I need to see how that looks before I step out looking like a bongo, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Yeah, so everything is always okay with this man. It's okay, it's okay. You will not be feeling like um uh, out of place. And then, you know, last but not the least, like I've already said this that not all trends are a yes, yes. Do you? Do you? And that's why I started out this session. We say you actually do have a style. As shocking as that may be, you actually do have a style. So what you just need to do is tweak your style to fit your body type and be intentional, right? God has given us all this gift of knowing what is good and what is beautiful, right? So don't follow all trends. Not all trends are for you. Uh, because everybody's wearing a crop top now doesn't mean that you should wear a crop top. Also, it doesn't mean that you should not wear a crop top. It might actually go well with you. You might actually rock the crop top in a way that it suits your body type. You can wear the crop top with a high waist jeans and, you know, so, so much of your skin is not showing, you know, or it can be a crop top that is, you know, just, is just flowing. It's just short. Or you, your skin is not really showing. Maybe when you just move slightly and people see just a bit of your skin, it's just resting. It just rests on your, on your high waist skirt. You know, you don't necessarily have to wear the crop top like the teenagers and the youngsters are wearing now. Like you're back to Unilag or back to Lasso or back to OAU or back to uni days. No, right? So one thing I am always particular about, I do that, so I'm talking from my own personal experience, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. I mean, who knows fashion better than God himself? Hmm? The Bible says that he made all things beautiful. <laughs> and you see, he, said, he looked at what he did and he saw that, wow, wow. As in God said, gave himself kudos. So ask the Holy Spirit to help you. You know, I do that a lot. When I'm going out to, an, when I'm going for an event, and I've come up with what I want to wear in my head. I'm thinking, okay, let me try it out. And I still ask for the Holy Spirit to help me put it right, right? And put his glory upon me. 
because one thing I don't want to be looking is I don't want to be looking trashy. Hell freaking no. I don't want to be looking trashy. <laughs> or I don't want to be looking like, oh, she's trying to hard to be a young girl. No, right? So like I said, um, these are just a few points. Now, to summarize, I would just say, um, you know, be confident. Do you do your research? Do your research. Go on YouTube. Go on Pinterest. Um, go on social media. Don't do copy and paste, right? Um, do you and be comfortable in your skin. You don't have to work your body to suit what is trending, right? You don't have to twist your body. Twist it to fit the trending style. No way. Your body is your body for a reason, right? Just have the best version of your body. Create your style around your body and do you. Now for fun, what I actually want us to do was, I want us to look at some pictures. I'll see if I can look at pictures. And then we'll just look at those pictures and you guys can just tell me what you think about those styles. As in, oh, is this a style you would wear? Is this a style which you would rock? Considering what we've said before, how we've discussed um, body types and, um, and um, different designers and outfits. Is this something that you see yourself doing? Is this something you see yourself wearing? So I'll just try and see if I can click on the link and if I can share my screen and then we'll just, um, just for fun. I think I'll have to make you host so that you can share your screen. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do that. Uh, okay, I've made you the host so you can share your screen now. Okay. okay. Can we all see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, so yeah. Can we see this beautiful picture here? This is, I suppose, Osas Ego Daro. Mm, mm, mm. Now, from our from <laughs> hourglass. From our, thank you, thank you so much. But we can see that even though she's an hourglass, she's also investing in some spanks, right? She's also wearing some spanks on this outfit to bring out the beauty of this outfit. Now, considering our discussions, do you think this will go with an inverted body shape? Question Never. answers, please. Um, <laughs> so so thank you guys so you see this is such a beautiful outfit it's such a beautiful outfit but that is beautiful doesn't mean that it suits everybody right right so i'll go to the next style okay this is also something very interesting so what do we think about this this is um i think danjuma what do you think uh, about uh, this? Hey, Google, be careful. <laughs> too busy. Too busy, too busy. <laughs> that the Google, the Google, the Google, the Google. <laughs> so like no, I always no, no. say, <laughs> thank you guys. So like I say, less is what? More. more. Less is always more. And even though this, she could actually still, she, al she almost succeeded in getting, well, I would say she got away with this in the funny way because she's Danjuma. She has a very flawless skin. And that's why I say fashion is all encompassing. You can see how well manicured the nails, her beautiful skin, you know, her lovely hair. So somehow you kind of almost forgive the so much drama going on, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you almost forgive the so much drama going on. That's why I say fashion is all encompassing. And you can see this is actually too much. Less is always more. Okay? So... Guys, what do you see about this too? This is who? Erika, yes. This is Erika. Oh, now, this is very yeah. interesting because Erika mm. um, from the Big Brother house, she actually kind of has the kind of rectangle shape. She doesn't really have defined waist. But you see this outfit gives her the illusion of having a waist. And that's because I'm sure they must have invested in some spanks and there was probably some bones on the left and the right side of this outfit. He but my thought... Here. My personal opinion, my personal opinion, I think she'd have just embraced her style, embraced her body shape. She didn't necessarily have to go along with the trend. And if we can always also see, like I said before, I said image consultants, you might give them so much money, 
If you don't do your homework, if you haven't defined your style, I'm sorry, they will dress you up like the other celebrities, right? Because the three gowns I've shown you, they're all gowns for people with hourglasses. They're they all gowns for the, themselves, forcing themselves into our Thank glass. you. These are all gowns that are suited for. Are you telling me that we can be more creative? But the only way you can be creative is by knowing your style and knowing what suits you and doing your own research. The onus lies on you, right? So what do we think about this? Nice. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take the silence for a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on around the net? Yeah, like what was it. going on around the net? I like it. Okay, yeah. that nice neck is just but yeah, I like neck. it. So okay, I like beautiful. Yeah, that neck is Tell me why you like it. Tell yeah, me why you like it. Um, Zulu, Zulu King, I'll be so good. He then has a thing. Okay, beautiful. The neck, for me, the, neck. the waist and the hip, the you know the bones, the, 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 like the, the fur, the feathers. I don't know what all those things are doing there. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's yeah. why I say yeah. uh, they have all that going on. All of them have it all going on. Thank you. Yes. Thank you guys. Copy and paste. Okay, so thank you. Copy and paste. So it's still not unique to her. Although I get what she's trying to do here. You know, one of the rules of fashion is to avoid looking trashy. Is a basic rule I think I've known almost all my life from when I was in the University of Lagos. You pick one part to show, up or down. You can't show the two because if you are showing, if I'm showing everybody my boobs and my back and my everything, and at the same time I'm showing them my legs, my gown is my whole legs are outside, then I'm probably just selling markets, right? Yeah. So I think maybe that's what she was <laughs> trying to achieve here. You know, she was trying to cover up so much skin being shown, and at the same time she was still trying to make it look. I want to believe her designer was still trying to make it look as classy as possible. For me also, her hairdo doesn't really go with this outfit. Yeah, I think her hair should have been up. done up. Yes, yeah. done. thank you. Because yeah. now this, the whatever is on her neck gives her the illusion of not having a neck at all. And she looks like someone that has a very chiseled jaw. She has very nice facial features. She also has a mm. nice long neck that should be displayed. That's one yeah. of her strengths, her strong point. But here it's all covered up. It's a nice mm. outfit. But I don't necessarily think this outfit is for her, right? Okay, so I think, um, okay, yeah, this is just, I'll just make this the last one. What do you guys think of this? Roses so, are red, small hips people can, can <laughs> go for. <laughs> Someone people said something about small hips people. Beautiful. I love that. Yes. Ball that's down me, that's that's perfect. <laughs> Ball like girls that are perfect. perfect. <laughs> well, we are many of that. We, we, we love our bodies regardless. <laughs> Ball gowns are yes, perfect so. for people with inverted um, triangular shapes. Ball oh. gowns are perfect. Perfect. Okay. Because it gives you the illusion of having a waist and then it takes, so, it takes off so much attention from your from narrow your hips. hips. Right. So it takes attention off your narrow hips. So it gives you the illusion of having a very tiny waist and then, you know, fuller hips because your hips have been covered by the ball gown, right? So now at that point in time, you can decide to show off your other strengths, which can be your shoulders, um, your neckline, um, your back. Yes, mm. you can do something that is okay. high neck and low back, high neck and low back, show off your back. Do you understand? And then you can walk with the ball gown. Now, this is a very pretty gown. And I think for the designer, this was different from the norm. This is the only outfit I'm seeing out of all the outfits that is not particularly the hourglass, um, hourglass kind of outfit but for me there's also still too much going, going on, on on the lower part like i will yes, always so say less is it's always more. more less is always more mm. um and if you can look at yeah. this one you know I, I like to say fashion is all encompassing if you look at her nails as well i think her nails actually do look like talons um, <laughs> and those nails it doesn't necessarily go with it doesn't go with what she's wearing if she could do yeah, better true they could, they could have done better. So these are the little details. And that's why I said, you have to be intentional. Yeah. These little details will be seen by people, even if not seen by you. You need to be intentional about how your nails look, about your jewelry, about your accessories, about your hairdo. Look at what we said about the other lady. Her hair is perfect. Her hair is perfectly done, right? It, look at what we said, oh, sorry. Look at what we said about the other lady. Um, uh, sorry. With the four around her neck. Happened. Oh, let's see. So this is um, our beautiful 
Adjuni Ade. Yes. Adjuni Ade. I think it's a beautiful gown. For me, particularly, I, I, I've always loved um, satin, especially raw silk, quality satin. But for Box. me, I'll have loved if she does if she didn't show so much skin on the lower bit because her shoulder is already you know exposed. But we can exactly. see this. Like, this also gave her the illusion of having a beautiful waist. She doesn't really have so much hips, but the the fabric plays around her hips and makes it like look very very girly, very feminine. It gives her this feminine feel. Right, and we can see her skin is also flawless. Her hairdo is perfect. Mm -hmm. Her earrings are skin, they were important. Almost mm -hmm. so almost it's yeah. very now. We can look at her nails. If you can also look into this picture, look at her nails. Her nails are perfectly done. Mm. My yeah. is less Lovely. is less is more. Yeah, less is, her makeup, not her makeup is also outfit. beautiful, and that's why we can almost get away with her not um showing off too much too much skin, <laughs> too much skin. We also also have to remember that these pictures are, you know, high-end okay. edited, seriously mm -hmm. edited, seriously edited. And that's why I said, whenever you're going for an event, do your own unedited copy of your look. Auntie, Oga, okay, madam, please, do your edited copy of your, <laughs> do your edited copy, do your mirror you selfie, selfie, right? Do your mirror self. And that's why you see some of this, some of these celebrities, when you have their pictures out, it comes out from the same source because they don't want people that just took random pictures of them being shown because then you see your probably all the flaws. So you have to do your own homework. You have to be intentional. Do your own um, selfie pleasure. pictures this in front of the mirror. See how you look. <laughs> no, 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 please. So please, I think I'll just stop here for now. Uh, and like I said, Shade, please, uh, Montpreneur, don't feel pressurized. Fashion is beautiful. Fashion is interesting. <laughs> we shouldn't feel pressurized about it. It's not work, right? It's something that we should try and enjoy. And if you know that it's, if fashion happens to be work for you, just do the basics. And the basics is what I've already told you. Number one, what is your style? Number two, know your body shape. Body Number three, let your style fit your body shape. Now, if you do those basics, guess what? You're good mm -hmm. because all you need to do is tweak your wardrobe or maybe you have to change it just a bit because now you have things that suit um, your body type. And to know what suits your body type, please go on Pinterest. Even if it's just mm -hmm. two pictures or and dig it three up. pictures you see, just have a fair idea. If you're someone that, yeah, if you're someone that doesn't like stress, you feel like, ah, this pressure is too much. This pressure is too much, right? So thank you guys. Thank you all so much spending this wonderful time with you. I hope you're able to learn a thing or two. I'll thank send a link you. on how to put our figure, punch in our numbers in the um, body um, shape calculator. So we all have the assignment and know our body shapes um, at the end of this. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody has questions. I mean, I've seen the comments going off in this, but questions, uh, feedback. I, I know somebody put something there, Taiwo, earlier about being a tomboy. That, well, me, I'm a tomboy. Uh, how do I, you know, incorporate that into my style? Okay, beautiful. That's a lovely question. Um, yeah, a tomboy. And you're thinking how you can incorporate that into your style. Now, the first question is, how do you know you're a tomboy? Are you sure it's not society that has labeled you a tomboy or I made you believe that over the years you have become a tomboy? However, if you realize that I am a tomboy, well, that, there's nothing wrong with that. There are styles that still suit you. There are styles that still suit you. There are styles you can still work with that still suit you. But for some particular event, you need to, like I said, be willing to be uncomfortable. Um, you, need, you need to be willing to, you know, be uncomfortable for some certain kind of events. So if I'm a tomboy now, and all I've been doing all this while is wearing my baggy jeans, you know, like, shit, I'm gangster like that. My baggy jeans, my baggy t-shirt, and you know, I wear my chucks, I wear my trainers, and I'm feeling all cool and all fly. Okay, madam, we are no more in high school. <laughs> you can still wear your jeans, but instead of these jeans being baggy jeans, we have mom jeans now. Mom, mom jeans are perfect. They're not so tightly fitted. You're still very comfortable with those jeans. And we have lovely boyfriend shirts. Oh my God. Yes, go on, you go on Pinterest. There are lovely boyfriend shirts that you can wear, roll up the sleeves and still look feminine and still look nice at the same time. Still, you're not, you know, covering up your true identity at the same time. But at the same time, you look beautiful. You know, 
play, be, be very interesting with your hair, right? Try and look oh. more feminine with your hair. If you're working on a pixie haircut, be the best of that pixie haircut you're working with. Don't just go like, eh, a bit on boy, I beg, I beg. Anyhow, they like me. No, give us the best <laughs> version of that pixie haircut. Give us the best version of that tomboy. Now, I'll tell you someone else that you should be looking at. Look at Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres is gay, right? And she's quote and unquote, what we will call a tomboy. But Ellen DeGeneres has a wonderful, wonderful, excellent dress wow. style that actually suits her. Now, it's still tomboyish, but it's still a little bit feminine and it's beautiful to look at. So look at Ellen DeGeneres. Go, that's why I said, do your research and look at how you can work with jeans, with nice trousers, wear straight cut pants, proper straight cut pants, right? If you need to go for other events, you know, play with colors, right? Um, look at people that you know are also your kind of style and how they've worked their styles over the years. I'll give you another example. Another example is Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is also somewhat a tomboy, but guess what? She comes out looking, she cleans up really good. She cleans up really good. So we can also, you can also do that. So don't feel that because this is my style, I'm a tomboy, there's no hope for me, no. That's why I go to, that's why I, that's why I emphasize again, let's not be lazy, do your research, do your homework. So we have, we have some other questions. Question. Um, so someone says here, how do I know the color that really suits me? How do I know the color that really suits me? Okay, so I'll just, <laughs> okay, thank you. So for that, we will have to do a follow-up class because much more fits different body types or types of colors and that's why i kept on emphasizing on doing your research exactly now, I'll just give you... <laughs> so that I'll think... our body types. <laughs> no but it must be the research. Know... Must be research. <laughs> now that's what we're saying do not be lazy my sister yeah i know do that i don't need to go far my chef is the same thing with your own so i can come to do, do copy and paste. You want to do copy and paste? Copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do copy and paste. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll discuss with Montpreneur. We can have a follow-up class and we'll do different styles for different body types. But back to your question of what colors actually go with your skin tone. I'll just talk to the colors that I know that works with my own skin tone and some certain skin tones. For ladies that are darker chocolate, right? bright colors not very bright colors i wouldn't expect a lady that is darker tone to be wearing all black no you can play even if you're going to wear black let the black be on the bottom now on the top right you can play with um maroon you can play with white you can play with yellow yes yellow is a happy color you can play with yellow it actually does so much but you can play with cotton colors with um um, um beige yes you can play with those colors on your upper torso. Now on your lower torso, try to stick to black. Now for ladies that are light skin, that are a little bit lighter skin than normal, you know, you can play with black. Now you can't, I won't expect you that you, if you're very light skin to also end up wearing lemon, bright, shocking lemon green, right? Because you'll be yo, 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 yo. <laughs> so, you know, you can, you can play with darker shades of colors that are also very friendly. You can play with patterns like leopard, um, um, leopard skin patterns, you know, prints. Yes, you can play with prints. You can play around prints. For ladies that are just like caramel, um, you're, not, you're not necessarily light skin. At the same time, you're not necessarily dark. You can play with even so much more colors than, you know, um, the two ends. So like I said, again, you also need to do some research, take some pictures. Try it in your head. Try it in reality. Try yes. it in front of the mirror. Take pictures. I see. Yes. I see Rashida's hand up. I think. Do you have a question? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's up in error. <laughs> no, no. It, I do have a, I do okay, have a yes. question. Okay. Yes. So you have the floor. Um, so first of all, thank you. Uh, <laughs> having laughed like that all weekend, much needed. Um, so my question is, I know uh, you mentioned during your presentation how um, Niger's weather is summer all year round, which is something some of us in the diaspora miss a lot. <laughs> Our idea <laughs> be <laughs> So, but what I wanted to ask um, for, uh, and I know that folks can still be living in tropical areas, but for 
folks like myself, where we go through sort of four seasons, or in my case, two seasons, hot and cold. That's the way I see them. So like right now, having to bulk up outside, of course, but then when you get into the office or wherever it is you're going, you know, you still have the sweater on. So like yeah. any tips, or thank you so much. If I'm just last like a month, without looking like <laughs> looking. <laughs> so, you oh, know, God, now that you said this, right? I think when I travel, before I got a hang of how to dress when I travel during winter and during summer, it took me it, as much as I love fashion. It I used to look, and I used to pray that God, please don't let any of my husband's friends see me because if they see me, I say ah. <laughs> 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 I used to look like a mess. And then I saw that I said, you know what? I need to find out how to really look good when I'm in diaspora. I mean, that it's winter and that it's cold and I have to put on like so many layers of clothes, of clothing. Doesn't mean that I should look drab. So the tips that I work with, especially for winter, first of all, invest in very beautiful sweaters, lovely sweaters, right? Um, also invest in very nice jackets, even if just one or two lovely jackets that you could yeah. wear over yeah. your even though you, you're going going to the office on your way to the office right you wear those jackets and if you remove when you remove those jackets in the office going into you've made a statement when you remove those jackets in the office you still have a very nice sweater underneath invest in beautiful scarves lovely scarves now those scarves i didn't know how powerful those scarves were really until i started trying to invest i told myself i said look Henceforth, anytime I travel, I must be looking hot. What's all this? No, 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 no. I must be looking hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I started investing in very nice scarves. And one thing I found out, one, one dressing that I really find very interesting, especially for the corporate world during winter in diaspora is, you know, wearing very thick um, tights. You know, that just very thick um, tights you could wear that goes all the way up. We, we call it pop socks and hair. Now, Japan, we call it pop socks, yes. Very nice, you know, pop socks, right? Lovely gowns, simple gowns that you could wear as a pinafore, right? That you could wear as a pinafore and put your lovely scarf over it and then wear your jacket, your lovely statement jacket on it. Now, when you do that as well, one thing I also found to be very interesting, before, when I travel, all I just carry with myself is my canvas. I'll say, ah, it's canvas. Don't do my damn canvas. Carry your canvas. Carry your canvas. I will just wear my trainers. What that goes with it all? What that does not go with it? And that's why I say I used to look like, I used to look like an Ingbeke when I travel. I just pray I've got Don't let anybody see me. Don't let anybody see me. I'm not here to see anybody. I look like an Ingbeke. So I now realize that, look, Taiwo, if you really want to be, and that's why I said fashion, you need to be intentional, right? I, I said, okay, I'm going to invest in very nice, you know, knee length boots. Lovely, they don't have to have heels. They don't necessarily yeah. have to have heels. They could be so flat. Happy. They could yeah, be flat. Like so no, that actually yeah. covers, it actually warms you up. It warms you up, right? And it makes you still look very chic, right? Mm. So please, you don't necessarily have to wear the trainer. I'm not saying don't wear your trainers, right? But you don't have to wear those trainers all the time, right? Especially if you're going to come. If I'm, if I'm going to have to, if I, I realize that when I want to wear my trainers, I wear my chocks. And I've guarded myself with those Tema wear. I wear the Tema wear under my jeans. I wear my denim. I wear my jeans. And then my jeans rest on my, um, on my, on my chocks. And still I look very chic. And I'm also covered up. And I look presentable. So yes, I quite understand for our sisters in diaspora. Um, having, you just need to understand what works for you. You know, what keeps you warm. Because I realized that when I travel, I just find out that Dress has become a necessity, and I'm like, man, I'm not like that, man. Dress is one of the necessities for fashion. <laughs> you know, you just you just realize that you know, and then you, you need to ginger yourself because almost everybody around you is dressing just to be warm, dressing just to be warm. So you need to ginger, you need to be self ginger. Your ginger has to come from you. Ah, you get so invest in such things in very nice scarves, in very nice jackets, in lovely gowns that you could wear to the corporate world. Also, invest in very nice hats, head warmers. Um, there are lovely hats you could wear that will still come up that you still end up looking really, really nice, you know. And if you don't want to invest in the hat, you can wear wig, wig is capped, so it will cover your head, it will cover it from the coat. So <laughs> you can use wig as a <laughs> you can use wig. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> 
Thank you. Then CEO Christine is saying here that her energy is nice brooches as well. A nice nice brooches that you can put your jacket. Beautiful. In. Thank you. It's yes. Done. Those are part of yeah. the accessories that I you can have. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Those are accessories. Please yes. Those are again. accessories that you can have. Brooches. Brooches. Nice brooches. 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 Nice I'll be piercing myself. I'll be piercing the girls with those things, so I left brooches alone. <laughs> <laughs> they already on that developed. I don't want the little I have to do. But I do have one or two. <laughs> so we have um, uh, Christine says her own headache is shopping. So sisters, drop the links of your favorite stores that won't break the bank, especially here in Lagos. How do you shop? Where do you shop? Where can we find these? uh these things to buy hmm. now that's also a headache for us yeah it's pants please yes because okay, i know what this, i went through um, for the pants before i could get pants for my photo shoot taiwo taiwo showed me pepe i wasted money i bought pants that she condemned <laughs> she was like this doesn't flatter you this is not for high waist this is we i bought three pants before she approved i saw pepe <laughs> <laughs> You ended up looking Good badass. Evening. So kudos to Taiwo. <laughs> My name is so I'm not sure I renamed myself. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. This Aha. is Desola. Hi, Desola. It shows it shows Hi, so I was wondering. I'm so sorry. I just realized that. I am so sorry. Okay, um, so I just want to keep in a few things with okay. regard to what you're saying, Mofolusha. And I'm sorry, I can't show my face. I'm trying to lose my air, so I'm doing that. I mean, I'm also tasking on that as I um engaging with this. So um yeah. with regard to where to shop. I think, um, okay, I'll speak from my own perspective. Prior to now, my shopping, I mean, I never knew how to shop, or should I say I never know how to shop from this country because uh, most times I found out that it's either I feel being um, ripped or at the end of the ripped. day, what I, what I, yes, or at the end of the day, the money I spend is not of, I mean, the value I get for the money I spend is not commensurate yes. with what I get at the end of the day. So I look at it and I'm like, no, this is a total waste of money. However, if we look at the exchange rate at the moment, even when you go abroad, you still ask yourself like, ah, how far? Because $20, 20 pounds is not what it used to be. Yes. And presently, lately, um, in the last, three, four months, I've had to embrace, I've had to embrace um, the Nigerian designers. So for me, I think it starts with, I mean, the Reddit wears, they, for me, I think um, they, if you're looking at your everyday smart casual work wears, for me, I think maybe they should be considered because lately half of my workwears are the Nigerian fashion designers ready to wear and they are not bad oh. and the more I the more I patronize them the more I'm telling myself I think this is going to be the way to go help Honestly. us recommend a few please recommend a few <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe on the group chat maybe on the group chat yeah on the group chat yes, I will but chat, honestly on um that is something I found I have found working for me um, of late, um, it still doesn't take away from getting to those stores to just to pick a few items to, to complement whatever it is that you have. But if we look at the current situation of the economy, uh, buying powers have really reduced and we still really want to look nice. And in the act of intentionality, as far as fashion is concerned, like Kai was said, yeah. I think because sometimes what discourages you is what you have to spend. I mean, you want to buy um, just maybe a dress and you get all those, all those funky dresses, all those UK, US dresses, maybe the least you get now, which is very basic, simple work, could be maybe 25, 30K. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. And they may not really cut it. What you go for, and before now, that 30K will give you something so trendy that yes. by the time you go for that event, you get, so the buying power is not the same anymore. So for me, I think we should continue, we should begin to look inward to see mm -hmm. how we can minimize 
or I mean, get the best out of the little we have to spend, really. I'll mm. recommend a few stores I've shopped from. That is the ready to wear, and um, we can all look at it. Really. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, just Desola. To, real quick, just to yeah. piggyback off what Desola just said, um, if we, most of us grew up in a household where um, you would have the tailor come by or we'll go to the tailor's shop and you get measured yes. and you know that's how we grew up so it was a bit of culture shock you know coming on this side of the pond where you you know you wear a shirt it's either it fits this way it doesn't fit the waist it fits mm -hmm. the waist it doesn't you know what 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 um whatever the situation is so from what this just said i think it, it's almost cyclical it's almost like you know going back to you know going back to those times and when it's again even with the whole buying power i think Hopefully, when you get to a good tailor or some tailor, some of them you'll be praying for them to make heaven. I just don't want to. But, you know, um, I actually, so I'm telling so, you so now. Yeah, so this, now, um, it's well, it's a, a bit different because the way ready to work, work um, ready to wear work here is you are buying your size. However, most of the Nigerian designers are okay. faster. You know, there's the Nigerian body. You know, yes, the Nigerian body exactly. type is different yes. from the UK body type, is different from the US body type. Is yep. So some of, of the Nigerian um, ready-to-wear brands are actually now making clothes for, for the Nigerian, Nigerian body. body. So yep. sometimes when you say, oh, I'm a size 12, they will ask you big 12 or, big 12 or small 12. So they mm. actually have something that is, you hear them say something like um, between 12 and 14 or between 10 and 12. So that is the Nigerian body size now, which yeah. makes it different yeah. from those things you are picking from the stores abroad. Yes. And I, uh, uh, so I bought a jumper from Soso Lagos. Yeah, Soso Lagos is the name of the store. Okay. I wasn't there. Basically, we're just chatting on, on Instagram and the outfit arrived, all of the outfits, as if I was in their store and they measured wow. me, you know, wow. as opposed to going out, go to the mall. And you know, it was, you know, not to sound cheesy, but it was a bit emotional, like, oh, oh my gosh, God. Me, so, you know, <laughs> me, they get me, right? You know, as opposed to, okay, you buy the jeans, it, you know, it doesn't fit your waist, but it fits the hips. Or you have what right. they call the weight gap. I know, very frustrating. Very yeah, frustrating. With the belt, like, just give me for mommy, please do. You know, but this is coming from someone who has, I'm, I haven't met her and she hasn't wow. met me. But yet it came, lovely Ankara patterns, fit, you know, nicely. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. 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 We've had a wonderful time. But sisters, our sleep is important. <laughs> so, before we wrap up and go to sleep, I just want us to turn on our, because I want to take a picture of everybody. So if you're there, just turn on oh, your okay, but, no, don't turn on my camera. I, 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 you are exempted. Christine, too. Uh, mommy, baby is exempted. Tosi, we need to see that your fascinator. You know that one? Yes, thank you. Put it on, put it on. And let me just quickly take, uh, yes. Tywo. To me, thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies, thank you. Ah, <laughs> Sister Akwa, I can see your heart. You even came in your heart. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Great. Okay. Who else is there? Toby, if you are not exempted, please put on your put on your video and let me see you. Thank you very much. Aha. Smile. Some of us has removed our clothes and taken off everything. <laughs> <laughs> a very bright smile. I think I, I know. Nothing. Can we have that bright smile? Head up. Please adjust your head into the camera. Aha. <laughs> ah, Rashida, your head is not up. Oh. Rashida, your head is not up. <laughs> there you go. There you Get go. Get up with that. It's up. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Next week, we're going on to another book. Thank you, Tyler. Um, yes, I will share the, I will share the uh, timetable with you tomorrow. Uh, remember, stay committed. Keep showing up. 
8 a.m. in the morning, 8 p.m. in the evening for the diaspora um, uh, constituency. 2 p.m. Niger 2.30 Nigerian time, 2.30 a.m. Nigerian time. Thank you so much, Taiwo. We enjoyed your session. We'll try to, we'll try to make you proud. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Us. All right. So good night, everybody. I will share the... Good night. Uh, I will share the... Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.